What happened tomorrow? Or the program that reveal you in advance the history to train you for the future. So, welcome to our ninth episode of Preparation for Tomorrow. An original sine qua non creation. Every day we select a major historical event that changed the evolution of mankind. An important birth of someone that meant something in his her field. A sad death of a person that created things, moments, or ideas. Person that influenced the past but that will continues to influence the future. And at the end, a TV, music, or film story as a suggestion. Also, for your free time. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be part of our community. Your opinions are important for us. So, feel free to comment. We are taking care of each and every message and we will respond as soon as we can. If you like, take action and click the like, notification and subscribe buttons. So, tomorrow is the 25th of May, the 145th day of the year, and there are 220 days remaining until the end of the year. The 25th of May is the fifth day of the Gemini. In 1961 on the 25th of May, John F. Kennedy announces his goal to initiate a project to put a man on the moon before the end of the decade. Second, we will talk about Peter Zeman, born on the 25th of May, 1865, a Dutch physicist who shared the 1902 Nobel Prize in Physics. Unfortunately, on the 25th of May, 2018, George Perry Floyd Jr. died during a police arrest. And last, but not least, we choose an important film-related event, when in 2018, Harvey Weinstein turns himself into New York police to face charges of rape, a criminal sex act, sex abuse and sexual misconduct. President John F. Kennedy addressed to Congress on the 25th of May, 1961 and speak about the national goal for the 1960s of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. The Apollo program was the third United States human spaceflight program carried out by NASA. Kennedy's goal was accomplished on the Apollo 11 mission when Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on the moon on the 20th of July, 1969 and walked on the lunar surface. In the six space flights launched in the Apollo project, 12 people walked on the moon. We all knows, Neil Armstrong, but few of us knows, the other 11. And I believe it's worth mentioning them, Buzz Aldrin, Pete Conrad, Alan Bean, Alan Shepard, Edgar Mitchell, David Scott, James Irwin, John Young, Charles Duke, Eugene Cernan, Harrison Schmidt. In 35 Apollo missions, one was a partial failure. Apollo 6, when after an engine problem the mission was aborted after a 10 hours flight. Two missions failed, Apollo 1 and Apollo 13 with the death of six astronauts. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind is also about the spin-offs came from Apollo, that are technologies created by NASA, and that have come to help day-to-day -day life on Earth. Cordless power tools, fireproof material, hard monitors, solar panels, or digital imaging. There are numerous documentary, doku, dramas, and fictional films cover the Apollo program and the space race. Peter Zeeman was a Dutch physicist who shared the 1902 Nobel Prize in Physics with Hendrik Lorentz for his discovery of the Zeeman effect. In 1883, the Aurora Borealis happened to be visible in the Netherlands. Peter Zeeman, then a student at the high school, already interested in physics, made a drawing and description of the phenomenon and submitted it to Nature, where it was published. Together with Hendrik Lorentz, he described the Zeeman effect 
and in 1902. Siemens' discovery earned him the 1902 Nobel Prize for Physics, which he shared with his former teacher, Lorentz, another Dutch physicist. The Zeeman effect has helped physicists determine the energy levels in atoms and identify them. It also provides an effective means of studying atomic nuclei. In astronomy, the Zeeman effect is used in measuring the magnetic field of the Sun and of other stars. George Perry Floyd Jr. died on the 25th of May, 2020, murdered by police during an arrest. On the 25th of May, police had been called by a grocery store employee who suspected that Floyd had used a counterfeit $20 bill. Four police officers arrived on the scene and arrested Floyd. While Floyd was handcuffed face down in the street, Derek Chauvin, one of police officers, knelt on Floyd's neck and back for 9 minutes and 29 seconds. And while Floyd was dying he said, I can't breathe, which was used as a rallying cry during subsequent protests. The event started a series of protests that were held globally against the use of excessive force by police officers against black suspects and lack of police accountability. The city of Minneapolis settled a wrongful death lawsuit with Floyd's family for $27 million. Darak Chauvin was convicted on two counts of murder and one count of manslaughter on the 20th of April, 2021 and he faces a maximum of 40 years in prison. The trial of the other three officers at the scene of his death is scheduled to begin this year. As a TV, film, or music event, we choose a related one, but important by its consequences and amplitude and spread. Harvey Weinstein was co-founder of Miramax Film Studio and Weinstein Company that produced several award-winning films such as Pulp Fiction, Heavenly Creatures, Shakespeare in Love and Gangs of New York. More than 80 women had made allegations against Weinstein by the 31st of October 2017. After the allegations, a social media campaign with the hashtag MeToo began and many sexual abuse allegations against powerful men around the world were made. This phenomenon is known to as the Weinstein Effect. Los Angeles Times published in October 2017. The full list of Harvey Weinstein accusers includes fledgling actresses and Hollywood royalty. That included Gwyneth Paltrow, Angelina Jolie, Rose McGowan and Ashley Judd, and many others. Harvey Weinstein turns himself on the 25th of May, 2018, into New York police to face charges of rape, a criminal sex act, sex abuse, and sexual misconduct. He was sentenced to 23 years in prison and his earliest possible release date is in 2039 when he would be 87 years old. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Just click on the subscribe and notification buttons. Let me know your impressions by leaving a comment below. Don't forget that the day after tomorrow is the 26th of May and we are preparing a new video. Until the next time, have fun and respect the history and the people who made it.